Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you are new here and welcome to my new office slash studio. This is the first time that I'm actually filming here so please, please bear with me because I still have zero clue how to film in here but hopefully this video looks okay to you guys. Um, I'm using natural lighting today so that you can see all the makeup goodness that we're about to slap on this face but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to artificial lighting. I don't know, let me know how you guys like this setup. I'm probably not gonna stick with it, it's kind of weird but anyways, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel, join the fam, uh, because today's video is a very, very cool one. I thought that I would step outside of my comfort zone and try a makeup style that I have never tried before. I very, very rarely stray away from doing makeup the way that I always do it, but recently I got invited to a masterclass with Makeup Forever and Makeup by Ariel, and I learned so much and have been so eager to test these tips out on myself for you guys uh, so that you can see how they look on someone with a different complexion, with a different makeup taste. You guys know my makeup style, so I think it's gonna be a really interesting video. And also a huge shout out to Makeup Forever for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited to be working with them. They've actually just launched their brand new Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. And I have been so excited to talk about this because I have, I think the first time that I actually tried it was like either the beginning, the very, very beginning, like literally the first day of January or like the end of December. I can't exactly remember remember now, but it's been a while and it is so freaking good. I'm so excited for this launch. He basically showed us how he does makeup on his clients and the person that he was working on was Desi Perkins and it was just flawless, absolutely flawless. So in this video, I am going to be taking the Kardashians makeup artist techniques and putting them on my face so that you guys can see them and hopefully enjoy them. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So huge disclaimer, this is definitely not gonna be an everyday natural beat because this makeup style is everything but. It's definitely made to look absolutely flawless and airbrushed in person and on screen, but it's a lot of steps, so. But as I said, Makeup Forever did launch their new Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, and this is a more light to medium coverage foundation. And the thing that really, really got me excited about this is because it actually has skincare benefits as well. So it's supposed to brighten, smooth, and firm out your skin, as well as hydrate and even out the skin as you are wearing it. So you are getting a flawless beat, but then you're also getting skincare benefits, which is definitely my favorite thing about this. I will be using the shade Y505 today and I'm very excited. So let's get started. Um, I'm first going to start by hydrating the skin and prepping it for makeup. This is the step one skin equalizer hydrating primer by Makeup Forever. I'm gonna be using a mix of Makeup Forever and non-Makeup Forever products in this video, but I want to try and get it as close to his technique as possible. So I actually went to Sephora and bought more products that he used on Desi, you know, for the masterclass, just so that I can get as close to his technique as possible. So we shall see. But he did mention, I think he used actually the skin booster that Makeup Forever has, but I had this lying around and I knew that I really liked it. It's extremely hydrating and that's what I want right now. So I'm just gonna quickly color correct around my mouth. This is a more lighter coverage foundation. So I wanna make sure that my skin is properly, or pro properly, prepped. This is the Live Tinted Hue Stick. Okay, so now going in with the foundation. The foundation comes in 24 shades, but because it is more of a light to medium coverage, I feel like their shades can be used across different skin tones, which is great. So I am Y505 and usually in their more full coverage foundations, Y505 is actually a little bit too light, but with this one, it is like my perfect match. So I am going to, what did he do? He actually used a brush. And for those who know me, I'm not the biggest fan on using brushes for for my foundation, I'm definitely a beauty blender gal, but he does go in with a beauty blender afterwards. This is more of like a powder brush. I also had this like Fenty Beauty brush that I could potentially use. Maybe I'll try this one first because I feel like this is a little bit more dense. I'm going to just put about two pumps on the back of my hand and basically just start dotting it around the skin. You can see how great of a match that is. So this foundation has a satin finish, which is my personal favorite. With foundations, I just like something that will give me a glow, but not look, like not make me look greasy. So this just has a beautiful sheen on the skin. You'll see once it's fully blended in. So I am gonna go in with the beauty blender and just kind of like 
make sure there are no brush marks. One thing that I noticed that Ariel does is he puts a very, very thin layer of foundation on and he blends for a long time. Like I feel like we were blending or he was blending um, Desi's foundation for literally 10 minutes. Like it was a long process, which I admire because I feel like I do that as well. Maybe not as long as him, maybe I should. Now, if you noticed, I actually haven't put anything on my forehead yet because what he actually mentioned is that he doesn't like to put a lot of foundation on the forehead because that is kind of like the one area that can make it look like you have a lot of foundation on if you do have it caked on there. So he goes on very, very lightly with the foundation over the forehead. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna take a little bit more kind of like dab off the excess on the back of my hand like he did and then just kind of start to work that into the forehead. Okay, I feel like I did a pretty good job at applying that foundation very similarly to how he did. He does a very, very thin layer so that you can still kind of see your skin peeking through but it's, it's super even. So before we move on, Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. It is out now. It launched on Sephora.com, like all the websites on January 31st, and then it should be rolling out into all the stores this week. Um, by the time I'm posting this, hopefully they have rolled out, but just keep an eye because it's great, y'all. I'll have a link down below for you guys, of course, as well as my shade name. So now I'm moving on to concealer, and for concealer, he actually used, well, he used all Makeup Forever products, but he used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, which is, I think it's their newest concealer. Um, it came out sometime last year, but I have two shades over here and he mixed a lot of his colors, even for foundation, like he mixed different shades, but for concealer as well, he did kind of mix a more like skin tone version as well as a brightening one. So I have the shade 43 over here, which is definitely my highlighting shade. And then I also have the shade 52. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a healthy mix of this. So I'm gonna start with 52 which is a darker shade and this is gonna be kind of like our corrector shade so I'm gonna put a couple dots over here as well as on my birthmark to cover that darkness and I can't exactly remember if he applied this directly onto the skin or if he put it on his hand applied it with a brush and then blended it out I feel like he probably applied it with a brush but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> and then I'm gonna add the highlight shade. Okay, and one thing that he did do was put concealer down the center of the nose in a highlighting shade, and he actually left it there without blending for a while. So I'm gonna do that, try to get as straight as I can. I feel like I'm probably gonna need more concealer, but this can be like the first little layer. So I remember he did use his beauty blender for this step, so that's why I'm using mine. Okay, now that we have kind of like concealed our under eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the light shade and I feel like maybe I should use a brush, but whatever. I'm just going to apply a healthy amount of concealer and he did kind of do a triangle. He actually uses concealer to contour the nose as well instead of like using a contour color he'll just use a lighter concealer and like bring it up like that and that's exactly what i do on a regular basis too so i was like hey i got some skills <laughs> i'm also going to put this on the chin just to balance it out and also just the tiniest bit on the forehead kind of like a semicircle. so with the concealer he brought it up basically to right over here on the side of the nose and he used that to create kind of like see that like fake contour using my own skin shade skin tone i mean that that's basically how he contours the nose to make it like super snatched. Now next up, he does a lot of cream contouring or pretty much only cream contouring and it looked so good. I'm someone who doesn't really do a lot of cream contouring, but recently since this class, I've been implementing it and I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't know if I'm like a huge fan yet, but it looks good. So what he actually used was just a couple darker shades of the concealer, the Makeup Forever concealer, but I actually have this. This is the Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe stick so it has a kind of like cream contour side over here instead of just applying it straight onto the skin i feel like that might look a little too harsh i'm going to just warm it up on the back of my hand over here and i'm going to basically just pick it up like this using a brush because he used a brush very similar to this it might actually be the same brush i'm not really sure but if you're wondering the shade that i'm using in this is number three so I'm just going to dab my brush in that product. And basically, he just puts it in the hollow of the cheek and he asked Desi to smile. And then he slowly just started building that up. And he started very, very light as well. Almost to the point that you almost couldn't even see it. See, like I put a little bit too much on, but that's fine, we will blend it out. But he works in layers. 
You can see how beautiful that cream contour looks. Like it just kind of looks like my skin has a natural dimension to it. I really, really like this step. I think I brought it a little too far over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that beauty blender with the concealer that was on it and just kind of reinforce that highlight. I'm gonna take whatever is left over on my contouring brush and bring it under my jaw as well. Look at that like line. That is insane. I'm gonna blend it out just slightly. <laughs> Might be a little too harsh. Okay, and that is my face contoured. So now he finally blended out the nose contour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. But he did actually leave quite a bit on there even after he blended it out. Like he kind of left it like that. What he did for under the eyes, y'all, I have never done this on myself, but he basically took the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I literally just went out to Sephora and bought this because I have one in my shade, but not for my under eyes. I got the shade Y375. It's quite light, so just be, uh, be aware. That's what it looks like. Basically, this is a powder foundation, but he used this to set under the eyes. And it, when I'm telling you, it looked flawless. Like it literally looked like he just went into the Facetune app and went like this with the smoother under Desi's eyes. It looked so freaking good. I was like, okay, I need to add this step into my routine. So this is the shade that I'm gonna use. Hopefully it is light enough. It looked light enough in the store. So anyways, make sure that you don't have any creases before you do this step. But I'm going to take the powder. Pray for me y'all, hopefully this looks good. Ooh, I probably could have used slightly lighter of a shade, but that's okay. It still looks pretty good actually. And I'm basically just putting this powder everywhere that I set or everywhere that I applied the concealer. Okay, I know it looks a little crazy for now. I'm gonna tell you now it's gonna look a little crazier in a second. But what he also did was set the face with that same powder, the matte velvet skin, but in a different shade. So in a shade that is closer to your skin tone, obviously. So I'm gonna be using this shade and that is R510. And he actually used a powder puff. So I didn't actually have a powder puff. I don't really use powder puffs like this. And I couldn't find the Makeup Forever one that he used. So I just got the one by Laura Mercier. I'm gonna take that powder and I'm going to really just work it into that brush evenly and then literally do as he did and press it into the skin. I like never use powder puffs, so this is really, really strange to me, but I mean, low key is looking good. It's looking real good. <laughs> now that I have the rest of my face set with that powder, he also goes in with more powder. This is the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing Loose Powder, just a translucent one. <laughs> Hello guys, Aisha here cutting in because I made a mistake. Um, the powder that I thought makeup by Ariel used uh, was not what he actually used. He actually used this super matte loose powder under the eyes to bake. Um, and that works really well to bake. It doesn't cause flashback. The one that I use is actually a finishing powder. So you're just supposed to like finish it. It blurs the skin and just kind of makes it look smooth and flawless. Um, but if you bake with it, it will cause flashback. So just keep that in mind. If you are following this tutorial, then use the super matte finishing powder instead of the one that I used. And I've actually never used this. And I know you might be confused as to why I'm using so much Makeup Forever, even though this is a sponsored video with them. I'm just trying to get as close to a technique as what he did. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. I normally like to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, but he used this. So I'm just gonna go in and basically bake my under eyes right on top of the other powder that he used. Okay, I think I might have used a little bit too much powder. Okay, I definitely applied way too much. Okay, I'm just gonna trust the process and hope that I didn't screw this up. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a little bit of that powder as well, honestly, even just what's remaining on my beauty blender and put that onto my chin, just a little bit onto my forehead to make sure that it's kind of balanced. And then what he did was take that same powder and he basically stamped this onto the nose to reinforce that um, highlight, so. That is not, that is not straight. I'm going to continue before I mess this up even further. Um, he did bronze and he actually used the matte velvet skin powder as well to bronze, but I don't have a shade dark enough for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go into my disgusting butter bronzer that I always use. <laughs> and I'm just gonna basically put this on as he did, so. I can't exactly remember what brush he used, but I am just gonna use my regular schmegular dual fiber brush and just basically go over the cream contoured areas and reinforce 
that contour and hopefully take away a little bit of the ash under my eyes and just run a tiny bit of this down the bridge of the nose. This isn't gonna add like a huge contour, but it's just gonna reinforce that warmth on the side that we like, kind of lost from that translucent powder. Okay, one thing that he also did that I very, very rarely do, pretty much almost never do actually, is he went in with that same powder and actually like carved out the jaw, or not the jaw, but like the cheekbone, I guess. And I never really do this. I feel like I always mess it up, but let's try in this video <laughs> because he definitely does this on all his clients and I always see Kylie kind of baking like this as well. Just like that. I feel like I might've gone a little too low. Okay, I feel like I look snatched, okay? The thing that I do like about this that's different than my other powders is that it's very, very light. Like it's very easy to brush off without it leaving like a super indent, um, intense indent. So we're gonna leave that as is. Before I continue with the rest, I'm gonna leave this baking and just finish my eyes and come back so that we can do the blush and all the other stuff that I learned from Arielle. Okay, finally time to brush off this bake. I just did a very simple eye, not very different from what I usually do. And I'm just using a very fluffy brush to remove all of that bake. I added a little bit more because I was using a little bit of a glittery eyeshadow before I removed it because it was getting all over my face. So I had to add a little bit more powder so that it wouldn't mess up the whole look. Okay, I really like the effect that that gave under my jaw. I feel like my cheek has never looked this snatched in my life. Now I'm going to work on blush, which I'm very, very excited for because he had such a unique way of applying blush. And I'm actually gonna use a Makeup Forever blush. I've talked about this for years on my channel. It's one of my favorite, favorite blushes, but it's their Artist Color Powders. I believe the shade is H106 and it's a very, very bright color, obviously, but I'm gonna be layering it with this shade. I was trying to look for my other Artist Color Powder that I have, but I can't find it. So I'm gonna use this shade as well and just kind of layer them and find the perfect blush shade. So first I'm gonna start with this and he kind of did this as well. So he said he likes to work on his blush in layers so that it doesn't wear off like on his clients if they're doing a photo shoot or a red carpet or something blush is usually the first thing to go so he really likes to make sure he is layering this so as you can see I am just applying this kind of in a circular motion I'm going to smile and then just literally apply it onto the apples of my cheek but one thing that he did is actually like apply the blush literally under the eyes, like so far up. And he said, this is what gives that kind of like baby doll effect. So now that I have that kind of like pinkier base on, I'm gonna go in with this blush and a little bit more of a bigger blush brush and just kind of get my brush in there. And this is what's really gonna pack the punch. So I'm gonna smile again. Like I know it looks like a lot, but it looked so good on Desi. A little on the forehead and chin. I'm taking my bronzer brush again with just whatever product was left over and just kind of making sure all of that is blended together nicely. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin before highlight. This is just the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, this is actually looking insanely beautiful. I'm gonna do my lower lash line real quick. Actually, I'm gonna use a brown mascara. Okay, time to highlight. And I feel like my skin already looks quite glowy, which is surprising because we used a lot of powders and it still looks this glowy. Like this is all that natural glow, probably from the foundation, but I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown highlighter in bronze glow and I'm just going to lightly put that on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, we are looking nice and glowy and now for the most important step, I'm just kidding, but the nose highlight. He had a very particular way of doing this. So instead of putting this on the actual tip of my nose, which is obviously down here, he put it a little higher to like kind of lift the nose. So I'm gonna place it almost like right above the tip of my nose. And then I'm also gonna place it in the middle over here and then also just kind of drag it down slightly. And then take my beauty blender and just kind of like dab it but there we go my nose looks snatched y'all that is insane oh my god okay my skin looks amazing let's just finish it off with the lips now i was gonna do another spray of setting spray but i feel like i honestly don't even need it like i look super glowy right now um but i actually bought the exact lip liner that he used as well he used limitless brown 
lip liner um, by Makeup Forever and it looked so good. And I was afraid that it would actually be too dark for me, but I swatched it in store today and it looked really, really good. So let's see how it looks on the lips. It's like a nice chocolate brown, like it's nice and warm. So anyways, I'm gonna take that and I believe these ones you can also, yeah, it's artist color pencil, so it's multi-use. You can also use this on like your eyes, for your brows, on your face if you need to, um, but then also your lips, which is pretty dope, so. And then he says he always starts with the middle of the lip and he obviously overlines. I don't need to overline, <laughs> my lips are already big enough, but I'm still gonna use the same technique that he does. So he used that shade first and then he went over it with a lighter one. So I'm gonna use the shade Wherever Walnut. I feel like he used this on Desi too, if I remember correctly, but I'm just gonna fill in the rest of my lip with that shade. Okay, wow. I didn't think those two shades would look good on my skin tone because obviously Desi is much lighter than me, but that looks so pretty, so, so pretty. And then I believe he did go over it with a gloss and one of their, um, what are these called? Their Artist Nude Creams, which I've talked about on my channel before. I actually really, really love this formula of like, it's almost like a liquid, a literal liquid lipstick, not like a drying one, like a just melted bullet lipstick, um, but they're really, really good. So I'm gonna use the lightest shade and just a little bit of it. And this is in the shade 03 Bluff. I can't remember if this is what he used on her, but I'm gonna use it on me. A couple little dabs. And then just keep going like this. And then I'll take my finger and just blend that all out. I feel like I need a gloss. I'm gonna put the Fenty gloss over it one sec. I'm gonna use one of these three new glosses by Fenty. Probably this one in Sweet Mouth. It's like a super light baby pink. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna fix my scarf real quick, real quick <laughs> so that it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, I am back. I just put on a slightly nicer scarf. This is the one from my Volchic X Aisharun collection, which is actually back in stock now. So check it out. I will have the link down below um, if you guys are interested in this hijab. But yeah, guys, my skin looks flawless. My face looks flawless. I feel like my nose looks so much more snatched. Like, did I just get a nose job or what? That is crazy. I want to say that this took not that long, but truth is it's like two hours after I started filming and this took a long time, but perfection cannot be rushed. I think this looks flawless. I definitely think I'm gonna implement some of his tips that he used, definitely not for every day. I think I like the way that I do my makeup normally, but for like red carpet events or just fancier events and stuff, I will definitely try uh, some of these tricks with my own products as well. But yeah, it looks stunning. And I am just like so shocked that it looks this good and that I use so many powders. So yeah, I guess powders, if you apply them well, can still look like skin. But, but yeah, overall, I'm just very impressed with how this turned out. I hope that you guys learned some tips and tricks. I know this video was kind of long, but I wanted to make sure that it was as thorough as possible. So if you guys took any notes, if you try this out yourself, let me know how you guys like it down below. Did you find it easy? Did you find that it actually looked worse than your normal routine? I don't know, just let me know. But apparently this is how a Kardashian beat looks by makeup or from makeup by Ariel. But again, be sure to check out the new Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. This is so bomb. If you guys want flawless looking skin that actually has skincare benefits, then I highly recommend, recommend you guys check this out. It is available now and will be in Sephora stores as well. Hopefully by the time this video is up, but uh, thank you so much again to Makeup Forever for partnering with me in this video and for inviting me to that masterclass, which was so, so helpful. I feel like as an artist, myself, especially since I've been self-taught, it's really amazing to be a student from someone who has a lot more experience doing makeup and just learn different tricks so that I can continue to perfect my technique. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do similar videos like this, kind of testing out someone else's routine, then let me know. I think that would be fun. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love for you guys to, to join the fam. We are so close to 240K. 200, 340K which is even crazier. But yeah, I'd love for you guys to join the fam and I will talk to you in my next video. I cannot stop staring at myself. I look good, okay? <laughs> Bye guys. Mwah.